In tonight with new details on an investigation into allegations of corruption and misconduct by former Columbus County Sheriff Jody Green. WECT News has found that the investigation is still going on tonight, more than a year after Green first resigned from his office. WECT Zach Solon is looking into the case and has the new details for us tonight. Now, Zach, this investigation started after WECT News aired a recording last year of Jody Green making racist comments about black employees. Bureau of Investigation to look into any criminal conduct by Green and the deputies under his command while in office. And now, more than a full year later, that investigation is not only ongoing, I'm told by several sources that it's still very active. The investigation continues into allegations of misconduct involving former Columbus County Sheriff Jody Green. Just over one year ago, WECT Investigates aired racist comments made by Green. He resigned from office in October before being re-elected a month later and stepping down again this past January. The recording also sparked a state investigation into Green's alleged misconduct and possible obstruction of justice. Sources tell WECT that subpoenas have been handed out as recently as Monday to several people, including government officials. But the question remains, what are these subpoenas for and how much longer will the investigation last? District Attorney John David says, quote, There will come a time when I will be happy to discuss everything that has transpired and the impact of all of this on our justice system. But that time is not yet upon us. After WECT aired the recordings of Green's racist comments, the Columbus County NAACP called on state investigators to take action. A year later, President Curtis Hill hopes the community can move forward. While that's going on, we're still trying to build a posture in Columbus County where we can start healing the community. Meanwhile, Hill is encouraged by recent changes made by new sheriff Bill Rogers. I think they are making making decisions in the right direction. They're, they're going, but as you know, um, we have an ongoing investigation, so um, and those things are always present, but we're really thinking, and, and at least they've hired a diversity person um, at the Sheriff's Department, which I thought was a nice you know, a, a nice thing to do. Hill is not aware of any cases in Columbus County that have been reopened because of the allegations against Green, leaving Hill and all of Columbus County wondering when investigators will release new details. And tonight we can tell you court documents reveal that Green is also the subject of a federal investigation. We reached out to the FBI for details this week. A spokesperson would not confirm nor deny the investigation, but that's a standard response. John, I reached out to Green for comment, but have not received any response. So for now, there's no telling when this investigation will wrap up. All right, Zach, appreciate the update tonight. Thanks.